custody i call all the shots she said in court she said in court that she doesn't want to have visitation with her son at all wait for it sir you asked for sole legal custody that means that child's your responsibility yes and after watching his video good for him visitation is optional she don't want to be a free babysitter free babysitter i think what one actually meant was parent thank you got what you wanted at least you don't have to pay child support, though. Who can predict where this is going? Boy math at its finest. Love to see it. Boy math. That really doesn't seem to be the type of math that's being used here, now does it? But it's interesting how one would try to make the father of a child somehow appear to be in the wrong while trying to do the right thing and taking his child to see their mother. How does that add up? Uh? Yeah, the math ain't mathing at all. And speaking of math, um, for y'all, for y'all that are watching, will somebody please explain to me what the hell is this girl math, boy math crap that's been going on? I've been thinking about reacting to it, but I don't know. It's some. It seems to be something that's like new and trending. I don't. I don't. I don't know what the hell that is <laughs> what's going on youtube is your boy ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe today i am going to be discussing so there was an article that was sent to me by a subscriber and it made me think like damn you know what i guess y'all must really want me to start this dating going wrong um series because after the oyster girl and a cheesecake factory i was gonna i was thinking to myself like okay i think i think this is it but then one of my long time subscribers man shout out to um sean uh he sent me this article and i was thinking to myself like bro don't tell me man i'm like again again bruh and I'm thinking, and this, and what I'm, and reason why I played this clip for you guys is because it's a precursor. Because I found, I find it really strange that women want to sit, want women are so quick to call men deadbeats, but there's plenty of men out here that want to be in their kids' lives, but women won't let them for whatever reason. The general reason is usually because that man doesn't want to be with the woman any longer, but. The fact that this man was actually trying to do the right thing, even though he wanted sole custody, which is very rare for men, by the way, he still wanted to make sure that the mother was in the kid's life. He's not over here trying to be petty or anything like that. But to sit over here and try to say, oh, he just wanted a free babysitter. No, he wanted the mother to be in the kid's life. That's what he wanted. You know what? I, I just, mm, it's crazy, man. But. Let's go ahead and jump to this article that was sent to me, man. So check this out. It says, man who didn't want children walks out on a date after a woman tells him she had a kid and expected him to pay for her son to finally enjoy the good life. How dare you? Okay, so this was sent in by Reddit. It says, a man took to Reddit and asked if he was the a-hole for bowing out of the situation. They had been dating for three weeks before she revealed to him she had a child. She also implied his financial support would allow her son to enjoy the good life. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. No. Y'all heard it. So here it says, a man has revealed he walked out on a date after the woman he was seeing revealed she had a child and wanted him to help her raise her son. The unnamed Redditor posted on the forums Am I the a-hole subreddit asking people to weigh in about whether or not he was in the wrong for his actions? The Reddit post was titled, Am I the a-hole for leaving someone at the restaurant because she lied to me about having a kid, expecting me to take care of them and pay for them after three weeks of dating? 
Wow. Okay. All right. So he was dating a woman for three weeks, and apparently she did not let this man know up front that he had that she had a kid. Now I'd imagine she probably did that because she knew he was a catch, and I think she wanted to try to lock him in before it went down. My guess is she probably let him clap the cheeks, and you know what I mean, and started. Well, let me put my best foot forward, let him clap the cheeks. And then, you know, once I think I got him locked in, let me go ahead and drop the bomb on him. Like, hey, you know what? I got a kid. I think that's what happened because three weeks, though. Ladies, I'm like, y'all got to be upfront about this. It continues. I was dating this girl and everything was going great. Three weeks in, we are at a restaurant and she tells me out of nowhere she has a kid. I told her at the beginning of the date, I do not want kids. And she agreed. Ah, that's where you messed up at, bruh. Sounds to me like you never asked her if she had kids. So my question for the brother is, is did you ask her if she had kids or not? Because just because you said you don't want kids and she agreed with you, that doesn't mean she didn't already have kids. That's where you might have screwed up, my friend. Let's continue. She tells me she has a kid and the father left out on them now she is raising her kid alone she said i see you as a good man for my kid to raise him i need the help wait a minute what the hell that is bullshit. get the french toast out of here she said oh excuse me she said you have a good career and it would be great as her child does not get to go out much he can finally enjoy the good life Man, this is just the typical alpha fucks, beta bucks situation, man. Can't make this up. All right, continues. I just walked out at the restaurant not saying anything. I blocked her number and social media and just left. Am I the asshole? Damn. He straight ghosted her like... Fatality. That man just got up and walked away. <laughs> savage but in my opinion i don't think you i don't think you're i don't think you're an asshole for it see i know me i would have been the type of person that probably would have finished the date very cold coldly and just been like all right this is gonna be the last time seeing you good luck on your future endeavors and chuck the deuce but damn you just flat out walked out in the middle of a date yeah that's savage <laughs> Oh man, so so here you had a lot of comments. People said not at all. Your it's not your responsibility to take care of her kids, and her trying to pull that, especially only after one week, is re really sad. But also shows a level of immaturity. Another commenter said, "What the f nta? You dodged a major bullet." Another commenter said, "Wow, that was very bold of her to say out loud." Another commenter said, run far, run long. I don't think all single moms are like this, but this one is a user looking for someone to bankroll the life she feels she deserves. Clearly. Another commenter says, absolutely, NTA, and that was great. Was a great move to walk out. She was looking for a sugar daddy, not a partner. Wow. Another commenter says, the unbelievable gall or stupidity for some people. NTA... Did, did she really think that after three weeks you'd be madly in love and something as important as a kid wouldn't bother you even though you made your stance clear from the beginning maybe she should put put up and saying sugar daddy wanted for me and my kid yeah might as well the way she came across dang she's really straightforward about wanting you to be an atm and a caretaker so yeah man there you have it bro uh yeah i from the looks of it, man, you had pretty good support in the comments, and I, I agree with all of them, and I'm going to say the same thing. I think the only, I think my only question mark would be whether or not you asked her if she had kids, because it seemed like you were clear about not wanting kids, but you weren't clear about whether she had kids already or not. But outside of that, yeah, I don't think you're the asshole for this. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about this, all right? If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. 
Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned to the comments, as well as my latest music, Lost Music Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, the Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, you guys, deuces.